Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Filming 5D. I just want to do a quick little 10 minute video, hopefully, about my quick menu settings that I use for my Sony a7S. I've had this camera for almost a year now, so I kind of have a good idea of what I, what I think for me personally is the best setting. So I did a 20 minute video, and I'll put, post that up on the video right now, um, about a year, back in August, and it's a long video, and it kind of goes through the menu, and I'll show you, you know, it goes to the menu and says what everything is. And that's good, but I don't really use the menu that much. There's a few things that you can't access from the function or the quick menu or the, I guess, the shortcuts. And that is, one of them is a, a silent shooting, which is great off right now because I'm in a video mode. But silent shooting is the one thing I go into the menu still to select. Everything else I can pretty much get from the function menu. And actually another one that I have to change often if I'm recording video is the recording setting. Going through and changing the from 24 to 30 to slow-mo 60, whatever I want. Anyway, so I thought I'd just do a quick video kind of showing my, I'll start with my function settings. My function menu is set up pretty standard. Um, I have my drive mode, which let me go ahead and swap over to ma to manual so I can show you that. So my my drive mode, sorry, my drive mode is right here, pretty standard. I also have a shortcut for that. I use the left the left button for that as well. That's standard. It comes like that. I've I've, I've messed around with these settings and I've kind of tried to use my own, and some of them are just. I use I switch the drive mode a lot, so for me personally, using my A7S as a photo camera, sometimes even more so than a video camera, I end up using that drive mode a lot. The second one is my picture profile. I also have this hotkey to my C3, which is the trash bin icon. And for my picture profile, just to go a little bit in depth here, I use picture profile 6, which I believe is standard uh, Gamma Cine 4. Now you hear a lot of people talking about S log, and S log is nice, but the problem with S log, and let me just pull it up real quick, is that the base ISO, as you can see on the screen, is 3200, which is crazy. And my current lens that I'm on right now, which is the 28 to 135, doesn't actually have um, any NDs really readily available for it. They're pretty expensive, so without a map box, you can't really use this anywhere but inside unless you're shooting at a really, really, really high shutter speed or really, really stop down to you know F, F22 or something like that. So, sorry, I use Picture Profile 6, which I believe is standard Cine 4. Um, if not, you can basically just go ahead and change the gamma, S, gamma, chem, um, color mode, everything else is pretty standard, I believe, on all these. And then moving on in the function menu, I have, let me switch it back to, let me switch um, picture profile off for right now so I can show you my next function, which is the creative style. And this is where I go through and I'll, I'll sometimes, if I want to shoot neutral with, you know, a minus, I guess, what is that right there? Uh, sharpness, I do minus three sharpness on the neutral and it's pretty, uh, pretty flat, but not so flat that it's going to take a lot of working post. And then another one, common is pretty black and pretty common is black and white and so if you just want to do a, a quick style now these are only for jpegs these uh creative styles so when i'm shooting video it doesn't really matter too much for me and then when i'm shooting video obviously like i just showed i'm using the um, page profile six which is that uh cinna four moving on i have my focus mode and this is obviously you can do single focus, continuous for video, DMF, and manual focus. I have it on manual focus right now. I also have this um, hotkey to my down, my down arrow on the thumb pad. And because I, I switch focus modes a lot, I, I switch between manual focus and autofocus. And one of the things I, I usually do is I use autofocus to get my initial focus, and then I'll hold this button the little focus button, you hold that down and then you get to lock the focus in so it doesn't have to autofocus and keep refocusing every time once you got your focus locked. Moving on, I have my focus area. I change this a lot. I usually change between wide and uh, center. 
sensor being, let me see if I can show it on the screen here. Let me put it on a single. So the sensor lock, kind of locks in, and then as you, you can kind of lock it in and then recomp it and then take the picture. So that's how I usually use um, the center autofocus. And if I'm just running around taking pictures really quick, I'll use wide and it kind of focuses on everything from uh, manual focus. And here I am hitting the down arrow and switching it back. Next, number six in the function menu is the auto HDR. This is kind of done in camera specifically for the JPEGs. Sometimes it does a good job and sometimes it doesn't. So I see myself turning it off if it's kind of trying to brighten things up when I don't really want it to. Because basically the camera, the shot that you're taking with your eye sometimes is what you want. Sometimes it does do a pretty good job. These Sony sensors and processors do a pretty good job of uh, kind of bringing back some of those highlights and lifting up those shadows. Sometimes it's not what you want. So that's just a personal preference. I turn that on and off as needed. Next, I have marker display. Um, let me put it back to video mode real quick. So marker display is going to be the you know your your thirds your um, your one six nine your two three five whatever ratio you're using just to kind of have grids on the screen basically. So you can turn that on and off. And then metering mode just to quickly change that. Obviously, that's going to be um, measuring your exposure and stuff like that can be helpful. I have white balance in here. I also have my white balance on the hotkey, which is right on right on the thumb pad on standard. So you can go through here and custom white balance your stuff. Go through your different white balances. I do have audio recording on here. I don't record. I usually record off my Shogun. I'm using usually using either the Shogun or the H6 audio. But occasionally I will throw a Rode video mic on top and just to make sure I'm getting decent levels, I'll go through here and it shows me the levels right here on the screen, which is nice. Purely for video mode, obviously. Zebras, another cool uh, feature about this. Also have this hotkeyed to uh, C2, just a quick one. So I, um, zebras are nice to have on, but sometimes you want them turned on a little bit more, so it's a little bit more sensitive and stuff like that. So, for example, let me just overexpose this image real quick. It's not showing up here on the screen, but basically you're just different sensitivities that you can get with that. And then the final one is your shoot mode. Uh, this I use more for um, when I'm taking photos. Just if I don't want to use the dial, I use this. Sometimes I my hands aren't on the camera. It's on a tripod. I'm using it in my B camera. And sometimes I do set it to shutter priority and just so it can adjust for moving sunlight. And with this lens I have right here, which is my 20 to 135, like I said earlier, this lens is nice because the focus stays no matter what the aperture is. So as the aperture changes, the focus is actually staying same as the focus on the subject anyways, focus distance. All right, and so that's my quick uh, function menu. Now moving on, so I talked about C2 is zebras for me. Uh, C3 is the picture profile. The down is my down arrow I use for um, switching focus settings. The left is gonna be the drive mode. Up is display, right is white balance, that's all standard. C2, I switch to zebras, just so I can quickly refine the exposure sensitivity. And then C1, I actually have set to turning off the display. It is 100% turns off the display. So when I'm using my Shogun, I'm not burning extra power on my A7S. And I think that's it on my quick settings. I just wanted to do a quick little video just to show you guys the settings I've been using for the past couple months, what I kind of enjoy, what I use, what's quick for me, both for video and photo. I use this as kind of a hybrid camera, so these are the settings I like. Um, if you have any questions, send them to me via at mentions on twitter.com forward slash filmin 5 d If you would like to know more about my videos and get some in-depth look at them, check out my blog at filmin 5 dwordpresscom or if you just want to leave a nice comment and like the video, 
do it right here on this channel. See you next time.